Stick your arm straight up. Do not let me move that arm. Okay? See? <laughs> Inside, when you're working inside, that's what kind of what I just showed you with this movement here. But when you're working inside and you've got a lot of this arms and stuff, you're not really blocking. Because if you're up in here, you're not really blocking. You just say, what's happening here? You're taking it down, pulling the lever here. But when you pull the lever, you don't have to take that pan and put it all the way over there. All you're going to do is move it about two inches. And the beauty of that is you're going to go right back up the limb that you're, you're playing with. Always go, the rule of thumb is go right back up that limb. If it's a right kick and you squash it, I'll show you how to break that leg. Never mind, just moving it in a minute. Here. Um, you want to go right back up the leg because at the, end of the, uh, the other end of that leg, there's a groin. You want to go right back up the arm because at the end of the arm is a neck and a head. You can close your eyes. I can blindfold you, and I've done it with my students many times. Okay, when we work in, in close, I've shut the lights off. Get a little crazy. And I don't drink. <laughs> so that's a good. Thing. I don't drink. <laughs> so you want to work the, and always work and try to coordinate. The touch with the explosion. The touch with the explosion. That's what this is. That's that little drill I just gave you. It looks silly, doesn't it? You're going to start realizing that's not that silly. Because you're working your touch. You're, there's a touch, and then you're working right off that touch. There's a touch, and then you're coming right off that touch. So when you're in here grappling in here, and I just bring it down hard here, boom, and never, never, never here, because he's too strong, I want to bring it back here to the hand. He's too strong up here. I want to wash my hand. I want to bring it back here and then rock it here. Right up through here. Bring it back here. And go right back up that arm. Keep this right in here. Watch this hand. Hug this arm and just rock it that thing right up through here. Or bring it here and just do that. The head's sitting right there. Where's he going to put his head? <laughs> sitting right in front of you, okay? As long as you stay right along the arm. I don't want to lose his arms. I don't want him flying. I want him right here because I'm just going to drop this side, this side of my body right here. My hand is up here. Watch where it ends up. I don't have to move it far. I'm moving it. I'm just basically touching it. And then just rocking, just going right, right back up again. Okay, or you can go inside. So in fighting is not as hard as people like to think. It gets a little hairy in there. It gets a little tough in there, especially you get some big and strong. When you get some big and strong in there, sometimes it's nice because it's easy to get inside and stay inside. Because they're so big and strong, it's easy to get inside. If they're not so strong, they tend to fly away. You end up chasing them. Yeah. You end up chasing them like a chicken. But when they're big and strong, they just get right up in there and just go to sleep. At the nest, they just work. Work it inside. You want to cause as much destruction as you can, as fast as you can. If you read my books, that's, that's my philosophy. Cause as much destruction as you can, as quickly as you can, and get the hell out of there. You want to survive, you want to get back to your family, you want to get home. I don't have time for you. Okay? I don't want to fight. I don't want to get into a fight. I just want to destroy you and get the hell out of there. That's, that's my philosophy. Okay, so let's work um, the stomp kick and the radius and then we'll call it quits. This is one of my favorites, <coughs> probably my favorite if you're working in fighting. And this is great when you're working in here. Okay, when you're working in here. Is that right? <laughs> All right, so when you're, when you're up in here and you can uh, practice this one, can do this and then the other one can do this. Okay, like I can be outside, you can be inside. Oh, the inside outside is very nice also. You can play that in your dojo too. I'll go outside, you go inside, I'll go outside, and then we'll play a little bit and then we'll reverse. I'll go inside, 
but he has a, an album that's saying he wants. And then you can play. You, you, can, you learn that when you're inside, you can do this. When you're outside, you can do this, because the arms get in the way sometimes. And then you realize your arm is, the, his arm is your friend. You just kind of, they're just right there. It's just like a tiger. It just, oh, there it is. Phew! Right at the end of the arm is a head. Okay? <laughs> or under that arm is a, is an armpit that's very eggshell and they can keep that right in. It's very, very simple. Along the thumb side is, is a, a forearm bone called a radius. All right? And what this one is, and you've got to have the torque. You've got to have that movement. I'm going to show this to you. A lot of you are going to do this. <laughs> it's not that. It's that. Again, it looks silly until I put it on the side of your neck. It's not this. So you're going to just put it on and take it off. Okay. Is, that, is that the stomp or? Huh? That wasn't the stomp, right? Stomp no, is that's okay. Thank you for reminding me. Okay. Right. Well, you had that's something nasty. Nasty. That's nasty. That's nasty. Well, is good. Well, you do it in the air. Do it in the air. The, the secret here, if there's a secret, is to stay, stay as well as you can. You treat this like a whip. Because what's, what's, what you're hitting with is... Uh, <laughs> Take it right through. And the head will, the head will go like this. It'll go boom. It'll go this way. But it'll be like, I took you by the ears and just shook you like that. Good stuff. Stop kicking anyone out of here. He's just stop kicking. But it's not a kick, it's a thrust. And in my book, I'll, I'll, I'll say this is the weirdest, wackiest thing I've ever seen. A man, he will tear your leg right off. Okay? And it's nasty. And this is very good when you are coming in. So this movement that I just showed you, and any movement that I showed you to get yourself in, well, when I'm coming in, what do you think is coming with me down here? The soft kick. 
I'll demonstrate that in a second, but I'll come back to the exact And it works like this. Yeah. And do not do it like a dog on a hydra. Okay. Uh, you'll hear that, and that's the groin that we just talked about. Okay? It comes out in the beginning, kind of looks like a front kick. But you're actually hitting with the back part of your foot, like your heel, the back part of your foot. And that foot's going to go out, so it looks like this. And it, and it goes right here above the knee. Now as I said, the knee does not bend that way. Cuss, you're up top too. Come. That and then you come. You you soft that, go ahead. You can't soft that. Unless there's a big telegraph, if you're doing a lot of telegraph, you just move right. I pride myself on reading, but the first book I wrote was all about like the spotting and playing and reading, oh, no, just like but the science just reading. You get to a point where you can you can spar with someone and know exactly what's <laughs> you know exactly what's coming by his stance, by his move. I know what's coming. I mean, I'm going to step aside and I'm going to step inside. But this is not sparring. This is this is the real world. So you're going to get on the bag, the heavy bag. You're going to place the heavy bag on the ground. Grab that bag, please, and just put it on the ground. Just hold it on the ground. And you're going to do this once again. This is not an ego thing. It's not going to feel, geez, I can't reach here. I want to rip that bag in half. But it's not so much that way. You'll feel the power of it because it is a thrust. It's a stomping thrust. It's not a kick. But if you do it wrong, like so, then it's going to be very weak and you're going to hurt yourself. So this one here takes some practice and you've got to lead up to it. You've got to work yourself up to it. So when you're in your dojo, just get the bag, put them on the ground like this and uh, also infiltrate this into your leg conditioning when you're doing katikate and you're doing leg conditioning uh, and you're doing uh, testing someone in sunshine, you can do this. See how it hits? Simple enough, right? But this here is very important. You don't want to weigh that out too much. I'm going to weigh this out too much. That's too much what I'm doing. It's too much. So you get in here. And you do it a few times and you go, oh, that sucks. Go, oh, ooh, that's a good one. <laughs> because you found the, the slot. There's a slot you've got to get in. And it's right here with the knee, almost like a front kick. And then right at the last minute, you just turn, your foot just turns, like you're turning a doorknob with your foot, and it's like, it's like this, on the ground. Only you're doing it over the And keep this knee right in here. Up to this point, it looks just like that fighting front kick I showed you. Same thing, and then I just turn my foot, okay? And I'll tell you what, never mind the backs, never mind the backs. Just get a partner and just kind of have your partner stand there or lay it forward and just kind of do it very lightly and, and, and then maybe a little bit harder. But don't, don't get that knee up too high. Remember, it is a thrust. It is a thrust. It's not a kick. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
It's like someone grabbed you by the back of the neck in the seat of your pants and just threw you right in there. That's how hard you recover that thing. Okay, I'm done. Right. Do you have a what? A little padding. Have a what? Yeah, bye. No. <laughs> 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 um, okay, I all the go where you were in the beginning. Okay, this was this was enjoyable for me. Uh, after all of these uh, 1962 I started my training. And I'm still training. Until I get it right, I'm going to keep training. Um, and I, I enjoy teaching probably more now than I, than I ever have. Because I guess I'm, at the age I am, I still feel that I can, you know, most guys my age probably can't do it. I can do it. I take a perverse pride in that. But uh, I hope I showed you a little bit. Believe me, you're going to forget most of it. Guarantee. Um, some of it will stick. Uh, instructors try. Uh, especially when you're doing conditioning, you can just use the conditioning pot and just work on the legs and work on the shin. And uh, it adds to the class when you just say, okay, uh, pair up, get a partner, put your hands on the shoulders, and let's work on this and the uh, As long as they're not to try to stay away from Q round, maybe, maybe an EQ, maybe you can. You know, that brown belt was very close to Shogun. Use your own discretion. Maybe you can show him or her a little bit of this stuff. But it gives uh, them a, a new toy. Like you guys now have a new toy. It's like a new toy, a new concept of it. I did not, I'm not going to do it because we don't have time, but I did not get to the circular block. The, the circular block, basically, the way I teach it is you actually walk into the attack. You actually walk into the punch which is a little hairy in the beginning because you get nailed a few times <laughs> until you learn it. But basically, it's the same principle, it's the same hand principle. And you, you, you're working it in here. You're blocking it really. You're not blocking arms and legs. You're blocking feet and hands. And you're working it in a 12 to 6. So the block really goes 12 to 6. 12 o'clock to 6 o'clock. And it's more a catch and then just a slight movement here and then coming down and going right back up that arm. Okay, right up. Okay. Rather than... You're going to come down, you move now. But keep doing that, because that's, that's your train. But when you take a look at that circular block, when I do my circular block, if I'm doing a... If I'm doing my copy, you keep your eye right on my... That circular block, it's not much of a circle. It's more elongated, it's more like this, because this is all kind of wasted, because the punch is coming right. This is all kind of wasted. I want to get into this position as quickly as possible. I don't want to stay in this position. And yet again, I repeat, I'll do it in my pocket. And I want my hands coming in this position, and I want to catch it. If I threw a ball at you and caught it, I want to catch it, let it come in, get that fist right here, catch it underneath, under, taking both hands, moving it down in position, that punch will look like this, rather than this. So you watch the person punching, and it will look like this, rather than this. So thank you for inviting me. I enjoyed it. Uh, I didn't see anyone here who I don't think you they're all very, very good. As I said before, you're all getting excellent training. Rosie's dojo, Danny's dojo, where they want excellent training. That's why I came up. Um, and hopefully we'll meet again and do this again. But I just barely scratched the surface of this. This is good. If you can remember only one thing, just remember the sanction and remember down and out. When you're moving, it's this, it's not pushing. Okay? So, thank you. Thank you, thank you Art. Thank you. Thank you.
three hours is not long enough, is it? No. I, I can go a long time. Well, I think he said three hours because he saw it stop with some voice a little bit. So mm -hmm. but, just see a little bit of water. Yeah, I'm losing it. Yeah. So, uh, so I thought it was awesome. Uh, I talked to him at the graduation and kind of rekindled some uh, old training he did back in the uh, summer camp. Come on up, let's do a seminar. You guys are uh, recipients of this knowledge, which is awesome. Um, and I'd like to, uh, a lot of stuff in here I didn't even get to. We got to be on the back of it. So those are uh, purchased on I don't, I don't sell these. I don't, I, don't, right. I don't make a nickel out of this. I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> no, but they are built. Yeah, you, you, can go on, uh, you can go on the way to uh, the judgments and the site match for now. Peabody and Hill. But this was, I wrote this in the early 80s, right? and I wrote this one probably 15 years ago, 12 years ago. So, you know, look at it, six times. I think, Terry, you have a copy of that. Yeah, that's all for me. This is an old one. This is this is basically sparring and, and the science of sparring. I didn't do any of that tonight. And this one here is kind of what I was doing tonight. This one I did. It's a small one. There's a lot of drills. So instructors, if you take it, this is not a hope for entertainment. This is this will help you uh, put some of these things in your dojo. You see a lot of the blocks, which aren't really blocks, they're just destruction. <laughs> they're destroying the foot. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to Live Dandy.